One Barron's stock pick is higher, while one we warned against is down. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Jack House, senior editor at the magazine. Let's start with the stock we like, AMC. This past weekend, I rented a movie with the family. We sat back on the couch. I had a beer that cost me about a dollar. It was five ninety nine or four ninety nine. You switched to a better brand. You're paying a dollar now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but my wife didn't like this movie. She was asleep before the final battle in Civil War, but. The kids enjoyed it, yeah. and it didn't cost me very much. And this is why movie theaters are hurting these days. I don't know. The argument, you know, Dave Englander here likes AMC and argues that it can, it can go higher. Um, the theaters have been doing better than people expect. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple of reasons. One is that at the box office, all of the movie studios, you know, this is a civil war. I mean, that's a franchise hit. They've had a, you know, a few of those before. They've seen that people like the characters. They come out with one every several years. And the, the movie goes bonkers at the box office. And the studios have gotten wise to that now. So box office receipts have been pretty darn good. Also, the theaters are coming up with new ways to make you know revenue. They, they redo the seats. They have Some of them have premium seating. They charge you extra for 3D. When I take my kids to the, uh, theaters, uh, to the theater these days, they go bonkers with the video games. And you know, they've got this whole like, huge arcade and play area before you go in. So it's more money out of my pocket and into there. So, they're doing okay. He argues that AMC looks cheap here and, and could push higher. It's about 30 bucks. He thinks he could go to 40. Mm. Uh, he uses EV to EBITDA rather than an old-fashioned P to E, and that's David's metric. But one thing I find interesting is, and I'm new to this, I didn't realize they're now selling those beers at the theater. <laughs> oh, this changes and everything. I right? know that you could, they sell like a Coke for $10. Yeah. So I hate to think what the margins must be on alcohol, oh, but goodness. AMC is doing this in the comfy seats. So they're, they're really finding reason to lure people in, and I think that's what makes the difference. And there's only a few of these big operators left. All the, the mom and pop theaters are gradually getting bought out. So when you see this kind of consolidation, it usually bodes pretty well for profit margins. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Bill Alpert warns against Panera Bread. Uh, this company is selling about 25 times earnings. They're moving into ordering online, and he says not to get too excited. He cites an analyst who's visited a bunch of different restaurants, hasn't been too excited about what he sees. The stock has moved higher. And I'm thinking that you know, with this kiosk ordering that everyone's doing and online ordering, that uh, that'll do great things and you'll have much uh, better traffic. But um, you know, the, this analyst is cautious on that. It is a pretty expensive stock, and Panera is in that group of restaurants where uh, you know, for families out there, it, you know, the cost is such it's almost like deciding do, you, do we cook or do we go out here because it's a cheaper meal, right? And we've seen grocery prices really come down quickly lately. And I think that's kind of changing the math for some families, families out there that are saying, wait a second, I'm saving a bundle right now at the grocery store. The prices haven't come down at the restaurant. Maybe we'll cook a little more at home. Maybe. A lot cheaper to do it that way. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Thank you.